Hello, hello uh, friends, welcome back to a new Neo 2 submission walkthrough on the 6th map and final map uh, in the video game. As you can see, we are uh, getting closer and closer uh, to finishing the game and uh, right now we are going to play the Roaming Artisan, which is a uh, submission you receive from Senji Toyo. Uh, notice that uh, the recommended level is 103. Um, we get uh, some uh, really nice uh, dual swords as a reward <clears throat> and uh, there are no uh, Kodamas or collectibles in this mission and uh, other than that there are no special items that uh, needs to be found that need to be found or uh, uh, hot springs or uh, stuff like that. However, um, I'm going to explain how to unlock this mission. Uh, there are two requirements to get it. First, uh, you need to complete the Mausoleum of Evil, one of the hardest missions uh, I have played um, up, up to this point, very, very, very complex. And then on the Twilight map, you also need to finish this submission named Calling of the Fire God. So bo both of them must be completed in order to unlock um, the Roaming Artisan submission make sure you do that and then you will be able to to start it uh, other than that uh, for uh, neo one players uh, this will be um, um, a, a return to the game uh, it uh, it is a very very nice uh, nice mission area uh, i'm used to it a lot and uh, i'm going to show you in this walkthrough how to complete it and how to get everything uh, in it uh, remember, we are going to explore every inch of the map or of, of the mission area and get as many uh, items as possible. So uh, let's begin and uh, uh, we will have a lot of fun uh, while playing this, uh, this submission. And uh, here we are, this is the starting location, as I said, for uh, Neo Veterans, uh, this is a well-known map. Um, I uh, I used to play play this uh, a lot. Let's uh, check the bazaar first and see if we can uh, get some ammo. Although I think we we are uh, full, so no, there is no uh, no need. Also, I'm going to double check the item since that uh, I have one free equipment slot. Not not sure why. Because I, I didn't change anything. Let's see what. Yeah, I'm going to add some gunpowder bombs. That's uh, that's all I need. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, for those of you who have played, as I said, the first uh, the first game, this is a. Uh, a well-known map you will see in a second and I think I'm going to to switch to a sword maybe later oh, here is a uh, careful with this uh, this spider over here those statues uh, they are filled with poison or fire, so make sure you destroy this. And let the looting begin! A very, very nice uh, mission area, this one. There is also um, a passage, a subterranean passage that we, are go that we have to investigate. Obviously, uh, developers changed the, the enemies. Okay, such as this wire. Uh. Yeah, do your stuff, big guy. As big as it is, this enemy is very, very stupid. Okay, and if I remember correctly, here we should have several archers. Let's see, there is one over there, I believe. We also have a 
Geki Weekend Dispatch. Perfect. And let's go around this house. I kind of know all the looting locations in this uh, in this mission because, uh, as I said, I played a lot of Neo One. Nice. What else here we have? A yam, yam ba yam. Nah, I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce uh, this guy's name. <laughs> One thing you you should notice, and I'm going to show you in a second, is that uh, well, starting this mission, I am able to um, cast all my uh, my own Mio spells instantly and with a better effect, which is pretty nice because I have completed the final uh, training for uh, on Mio on Mio magic, and well, I have a. Uh, I say a decent uh, character that's using on me or magic. Let's see what's inside. Here is the 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 archer I was telling you about. Oh come on! So he can't hit me from uh, from that spot. <laughs> Okay, now we have two enemies. One of them is down. And my yokai weapon is now fully charged. In the subterranean passage we are going to investigate, there are a lot of traps, hopefully I remember all of them. <laughs> I kinda died several times over there. Let's see, nice. And there should be another chest over here, no it's not. Oh, here it is. They moved it. It was on the other side of that house. I can hear a wheel monk above. Yeah, nothing here. So we are moving up this hill. Where we should have more uh, of these statues. Here is one uh, that's filled with, with uh, fire. There should be another one filled with poison right around here. Yeah, it's gone. Here is the wheel monk. And there should be another archer which is gone. Okay, let's call up this guy. And I'm going to use a sword. You know, just to increase my, uh, my proficiency a bit. While we are playing this mission. Oh, screw you. Here, take a bomb. <laughs> okay, and uh, now back to my switch glaive. And back to my bow and arrow. Let's call up this guy. Here you go. Time to deal with slot talismans are the best. There is no doubt about, about it. Ooh. And 
and off you go. Great. Let's see what we have here. And from this location we can drop on top of, uh, of that building. We should check it out, but after we see what's inside the... Oh. What's inside this huge house? I know for sure how to get uh, on the roof of this house. And I think there is another... I was hoping for a chest here. Oh, here it is. This chest is also in the first game. Nice. And let's see, can we spot what's inside? No, we can't. So the door is locked, which means we need to find a key. After we check this roof. Maybe there is a corpse. Oh, there is a scampus. That's why uh, I think that uh, you should always take your time in this game and explore every inch and every area. There are a lot of secrets and stuff like that. Good. So for that building we need a key. Man, this mission is filled with uh, Yambas, Yamba. Is he dead? No, he is not. I could perform a drop down on this guy, but uh, I think it's too risky. But we are not going to let him live. And up we go again. Okay. Let's see what's behind. There is a Yokogaki behind. <laughs> Kick this down. Just in case. And there is another treasure behind. That's a herbal remedy. Awesome. So up we go and here we have two options. We can go left or we can go right. First let's clear this area. As I said, you need to be really careful with those... Um... Yes, it's uh, exactly like in, uh, in the first game. I identical, which is awesome. Okay, this path takes us to where we killed that guy. We are going to... Actually, there is a corpse we can loot. Let's go around again. And check the roof. Oh, here it is. Awesome, we also got uh, a new proficiency point. 
Although I have the Misty card for uh, for the Switch Glaive, one of them, I believe. I'm going to spend uh, that point on the other one. Here is one, and here is the other one, but I cannot unlock it. I can't believe it. Okay, working on it. Let's trade with this little fellow. Here it is. What to give him? Here, take this. Ooh, a lot of uh, spirit stones. That's nice. And now I'm going to drop again and go to that hill where uh, there is another corpse. Notice. We actually have to check uh, these corpses back because, uh, well, I'm not sure uh, where to where to get that key, and that's why I'm uh, maybe one of them has the key. And up we are again. And we are ready to... I can hear a gaki. Not sure where it is though. Yeah, okay, let's check the... The tunnel. Which is also pretty... Pretty complex. As I said, with lots of... Uh, of traps. See? Oh, a shrine. This is awesome. Let's see. If there was a... Oh, here it is. Just like in the first game, guys. In the first game, there was a walker waiting here. Same location, same spot. Really, really awesome uh, mission area. Okay, and now the fun begins because uh, you will see. There are a lot of traps, as I said. Such as the one on the right side over here. You can see it over there. If you step step on this tile, you will die. So that's why I'm moving. Uh, or not necessarily die, but you will take a lot of damage. That's what, why I'm moving uh, around. Here we have a big skeleton. Oh... up really quick I hate these skeletons so much they have an impressive damage and when uh, they perform that whirlwind uh, attack they are really really dangerous Oh, so they closed this path. I see. But there is a way around, I believe. Notice that, uh, that uh, these statues are filled with poison. Okay. 
Okay, and there is another skeleton here. He's sleeping. If we move quickly, we can... We can... No, we can. I thought we can use a... Uh, that trap against him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we got it. That's how you get <laughs> that uh, that loot. Okay, so right here we have uh, a large spider that's waiting for us. It kind of killed me in the past. If I remember, it's here. It must be here. Oh, there you are. What's up, Bob? Really nasty creatures, the, these, these spiders. As they slow you down a lot with their web. But we got rid of him. Keep in mind, always to look up. Always look up because uh, you never know what's on the ceiling. And so far I have seen uh, all types of creatures. Let's uh, switch to a slave because it's longer and I can reach you uh, those statues without getting hit. Okay, and here is a large hole. I wonder if this... Um... Is he coming? I wonder if these um, statues are still alive. Some of them were alive in... Um... In Neo 1, not, not in the second game though. There you go, slow down a bit. Yes, another skill point for my own Mio Magic. Yes, thank you. Let's uh, let's spend it. Really, really important uh, the army of magic. That's why I'm uh, <laughs> I'm spending a lot of. Here is the uh, mystic card, which allows me to cast all spells faster. Let me see. Yeah, lightning talismans. I want to. To make those a little more powerful. There is a hole above. There is also a campus here. I hope there is not another boulder on top of that uh, of that staircase. <laughs> in the in the first game, there was a boulder that was that killed me like ten times in a row, coming from those stairs above. Statues were really, really powerful in uh, in the first game. Looks like all of them are dead now, or they haven't been brought to to life yet. That's also a possibility. And I think we have reached the final section of this mission. Let's see what type of enemy we have here. And also use some protection talismans. 
Get rid of this really quickly. Oh, okay, this archer has to go first. And the Ipon Tatara should be easy. What else? Who's next? Wait, what? Nobody? Oh, here is a guy. I'm still under the effect of poison and flames. Great, so let's talk to this guy. Dude, wake up. Oh, hello. Right. Okay, so that's uh, that's the end of the mission. Awesome, nevertheless. Let's grab our rewards. Oh, it's Toyo's grandfather, right. Okay, now I get it, now I get it. So we've got the rewards, guys, which means that this walkthrough is now completed. Uh, we are, as I said, one step of, uh, closer to the end of the game. Don't forget hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check the playlist because I have a lot, a lot of uh, walkthroughs for you in case you are stuck with the mission. Don't forget to check uh, my playlist and uh, obviously I'll be able to help you if you have questions. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week.